Hey there, welcome to the team. Um, I might have brought you into the business or maybe somebody else, but regardless, uh, you are on my team. So feel free to always reach out to me. Um, in this video, I'm gonna keep it short and as simple as possible, but I'm gonna go over some Monet basics for you, just so you have kind of the basic understanding before you're going into reaching out and talking to people. Um, so prior to this video, you should have watched an intro video with uh, Gabby Hosick and then an IGTV made by our director, Sam Gomes, breaking down your Smart Start bonuses. This is going to cover some logistics like uh, what's PV and GV, what's a retail customer versus a VIP customer, um, what are active lines, and how do you hit the first rank of MMP which is managing market partner. And then also what is your hot and cold market? Like, what does that mean? So first I'll kind of go over um, PV and GV. So when you log into your back office, you're gonna see a little progress report. It's like where the rank wheel is. It's gonna show you all the different ranks and levels in the company. That first one is managing market partner. On there, you're gonna see a couple different things which I'm gonna go over. So first off, I wanna talk about PV. That is personal volume. So this is anything you sell or if you purchase something um, yourself. So when you come into the business, you have purchased your product pack, right? And that is going to give you a head start with some PV. So let's say if you bought the 349 pack, you're going to have 250 PV already out of the 300 needed for that first rank. If you sign up a customer, AKA make a sale, that PV will increase um, depending on how big the order was that your VIP or retail customer made. So again, PV is anything you sell or if you purchase something yourself. Now, below that, we'll show your GV. So GV stands for group volume, and that is going to include your PV as well as your team's sales. So as you start to grow a team, that GV number will increase, which is why it's a higher requirement on there because the goal is to really have a team contributing um, and working with you. So if you really only sell products um, and you don't have a team or any market partners underneath you selling, um, then your PV and GV number will be the exact same, right? Because you don't have any market partners contributing and selling um, to, to your GV, to your team sales. So that's just very basic PV and GV. Um, and then this kind of goes along the lines of active lines. So right above your PV and GV on your rank wheel, you're going to see active lines. So for that first rank of managing market partner, you need two active lines. So you're brand new, you just came into the business, you have some PV from your product pack, now what, right? So you wanna get two people at least to join the business with you, and that's going to fulfill your active line requirements. So active lines are market partners that you have underneath you that you've recruited. So when they purchase a product pack, they're gonna pop up as an active line for you. And then one thing I do want to mention is that at the end of every month, um, so on the last day of the month at 9 p.m., that is when our month with Monet ends. And then the beginning of a new month will happen the next morning and you're gonna notice that all your numbers are cleared at zero. So don't panic. I mean, this is normal. It happens for us all, no matter what rank you make it to. Um, but if you have recruited market partners and had active lines in the previous month, it's not like they just went away. Um, they just need to sell 200 PV or more to then be active again for you. So, you know, let's say you recruited two market partners and you hit managing market partner, you know, this month, then going into a new month, everything's going to be zero, but they're going to be, you know, hopefully they're going to be selling still. 
So once they reach 200 or higher, you've got, you know, your two active lines popping back up. Um, but I do always encourage you to shoot for at least two new market partners every month. So pretend like you don't even have a team, right? Try and re-hit that first rank um, all on your own without relying on somebody else to be active for you all the time, if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of PV, GV, um, active lines. And then I want to talk about retail customers versus VIP customers. So let's say you have somebody that wants to buy products. They really only want to get maybe one item. They're going to be a retail customer. So they're going to be paying, however, they're going to be paying full price as well as shipping. Whereas VIP customers, they get access to all of the VIP membership perks. And some of those perks include discounts, access to our flash sales, they get free shipping and a free product of the month. Each month, um, the, the free product changes. It's called the only for you product. So they get lots of perks. Um, they also get access to like a referral program. Um, I think that the company might be changing that soon. So I don't want to really teach that on here in case it changes. Um, but as of now, we do have a referral program, which you'll kind of learn about as you go. It's not really necessary to learn about right this second. Um, so yeah, so retail customers, they can order whatever they want. They have no order commitments, um, but they are going to be paying more and shipping. VIP customers, to get all of these perks that I listed, they pay a one-time $19.99 fee. So kind of think of it as like an Amazon Prime membership, but for your, for your beauty products. So they only pay it one time ever. Actually, I think Amazon Prime, you pay yearly, but Monet, only one time ever, okay? And the only commitment that they have is they are committing to two future orders, but it's all on their own time. So it's not necessarily an auto ship. It's called a flex ship because it's super, super flexible. Um, and they can go in and manage the order. You can help them too. And you can push it out in 60 day increments over and over until they're ready for more product. So you'll kind of learn that our products last a really long time. So some people aren't reordering for three to six months at a time. So I really love that it's flexible um, so they don't feel like they have to order every month. And um, that's really kind of the basics regarding VIP as well. That's kind of, you know, you should have watched the smart start training. That's where the bonuses are at getting VIPs and getting market partners. So if you sign up a retail customer, you're still going to make commission off of it. Um, but with VIP, that's really where the extra bonuses come from. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I'll say about that. And then we kind of went over managing market partner. So I want you to go in your back office, log in. Um, it's the username and password that you created. Look at your rank wheel, look at managing market partner. You're going to see two active lines, 300 PV and 1200 GV required. So you can totally do this literally within your first two weeks um, if you are wanting to grow a team, depending on what you know business path you chose on your getting started guide. Um, so that's kind of that. And then you will hear us kind of say warm market, hot market, cold market. And I just wanted to touch on that really quickly. And then, you know, we'll be done with this video. But hot market is like your closest, like your best friends. Okay. Warm market is maybe people, you know, but you don't talk to daily or like all the time. Like maybe someone you went to high school with that you don't really interact with much. Um, and then cold market is literally somebody you don't know. Maybe somebody you literally just followed on Instagram. So when it comes to recruiting, when you're doing your initial, you know, sharing your excitement about your business and messaging people and stuff like that. A lot of it's going to be your hot and warm market. 
And then as you, you know, go through your journey with Monet, you're going to be following new people on Instagram. You're going to be networking, but that's your cold market. And eventually they will turn warm. So that comes from building a relationship with them, consistently engaging with them on their, um, Instagram, maybe commenting on their photos, replying to their stories, um, finding people you relate to and kind of making them into your friend or like warm market. So when it comes to recruiting, just think of yourself as a professional friendship maker. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I hope this was super helpful. Um, after you have watched these, you're going to hop on an onboarding call with your sponsor. So that is all. Um, best of luck to you. I'm always here if you need me and um, I'm very excited for you.